Hey Dinas, and welcome back to All Things Blue. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome from my last video about Natalie Bello. Go watch it if you wanted to know anything about her or my experience um, with her. You can go and watch that in my previous video. So now it's the big, big, big reveal of who my doctor was. They like, Gina, who was your doctor? Oh, but she didn't go to her, but who was your doctor? No, Gina, but who was your doctor? I'm like, gotta keep it on the low. Gotta keep it on the low, can't tell anybody. Gotta keep it on the low. But I'm gonna share it with my genus, of course. Always gonna share it with my genus first. So guys, finally the big reveal. My doctor was Luis Alberto Mejia. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He's another doctor that's kind of well known in the Dominican Republic for his surgeries. He has no deaths. He's a great person, a great guy. Um, he speaks beautiful English and um, I really do love his team. I love the organization, the cleanliness. I love his office is beautiful. He does his surgeries at a Cecilia, um, beautiful clinic. They if you watched my last video then you know what happened and he was one of my second or third options that i did have i believe though that mejia was the first person to ever give me a quote for any type of plastic surgery and when i hit them up last minute to say listen i really need a date do you have a date because things had went wrong with natalie they said yeah and it was on the same day i was very very grateful and excited um it kind of gave me a deep breath too because i know that he's a good surgeon he has no deaths he doesn't really have any complaints he has a very good review on real self which is a um, plastic surgery i guess like review site that you can go back and talk about your doctor and how everything was like i said his staff was very nice he was very nice um i really didn't i really have nothing bad to say to, like about him or anything else really loved him loved his team would i go back 100 percent? i would go back to him i would also 100 percent recommend him um i'm very in love with my results i really feel like he would be a great surgeon for you guys depending on what you really want though uh when i first started looking into surgeries i really didn't want anything big i didn't want anything dramatic like damn girl i didn't really want that i just wanted something really natural i really just wanted a nice body a nice natural body and he is very well known for that he is very natural i mean if you tell him like listen i really want a big big, big butt because he will ask you um what you really want it big like what is it that you want you like you get to actually sit down and talk with him um he's very hands-on um he does answer the phone he is very very hands-on with his patients while you're there i will say i do know and have heard that he is also hands-on when you leave they the number that they do provide you with to call him at any time if anything needed even as a surgeon he does answer the phone and answer all of your questions Anytime that I have wrote them, um, I've always gotten a, a good response time from them. So definitely very, very organized, very, very punctual, and I recommend them 100%. Um, initial visit with them after hitting up the coordinator, her name is Michelle. I will be leaving numbers, I will be leaving account pages and everything else below, of course, so that you guys can go and check out for yourself. And also, if you want to contact any coordinator or anybody, um, you can do so. Definitely, definitely will make sure that I put that there for you guys. I did write the, the coordinator, Michelle, and thankfully they did have my date. I was very thankful for that. Upon my first visit, I had to do a number of tests. Most of them were covered within my package that I had, but there was a few that were not. Off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly how much things cost, but I know like the COVID test was like 200 and something dollars because they do it like a couple different COVID tests. And so, um, and like, I think it's like basically a rapid and a PCR that they do and like something else supposedly that it's like 
for surgery, whatever. I didn't care at that time. You know, I had already spent so much money that I was trying to just get my surgery. How much you need? <laughs> get me the booty, please. Because at this point, I had already been through a lot. If you so yeah, so I'm just like, whatever, you know, I'm paying whatever I go, whatever. The um appointments on my I won't say that I was waiting around at all. I can't say I was waiting around. I went, I was I was seeing they did everything they need to do. Now I had went to the sonogram and everything, all of that stuff, that good stuff. Which if you watch my other video that you know, like I supposedly had this waking and all this stuff, I had figured out that it really wasn't waking. Um, because I stopped smoking, you know, weed, I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking as well, and so I wasn't going to the bathroom as well. And even though it was like a little bit uncomfortable for everybody to talk about, listen, we all do it, and it is what it is. So it was a lot of poop there. That's what they were saying with these was these pounds. She told me she's like, girl, she's like, you have like five pounds of poop there. She's like, you need to try to take something to like go. She's like, because it's definitely because you haven't been smoking and doing your normal routine. So you haven't been eating, you haven't been drinking, you haven't been doing everything that you want to, that you usually are doing. So this is why, and it's okay, it will pass. Like you did not gain all this weight or whatever, but I'm blessed. So I'm like, okay, good. They also had me go see a doctor basically for my lungs. Um, just to check them because I did, I was honest, you know, of course I was completely translucent with my doctor to let them know, like, listen, I do smoke weed and whatever. And so they wanted to test my lungs. I, f I think that was like another $200 that I paid for that separately because it's not included. And then, um, yeah, everything worked out. My blood was beautiful as I know it was. Everything was uh, top, top. And it was time for me to pay for my surgery. My initial quote was for six thousand. I paid an extra thousand dollars for the Vaser light bulb. Um, it's just supposed to be better for your skin and basically supposed to be better for like healing after, and it helps your skin like stick back, like I guess stay tight instead of being loose. Because obviously you had fat there, now you don't have fat there, so the skin might be loose, you know, in certain areas. But it definitely helps it retract back, and so I definitely paid extra for that. Um, my quote did not include hips, so I did pay an extra, like, I think $500 for that. Like, all those extra little tests and everything added up to about, um, 600 probably extra, something about that. <laughs> the initial payment that was swiped, actually, it wasn't, I, I guess I paid, I paid it in cash, actually. Um, the initial payment was 8000 was a little bit over $8,200. Um, I paid that in cash and you gotta do what you gotta do, Gina. It hurt me. It hurt me to pay it, but I knew the booty was coming and that is all that matters. So I was like, here, yeah, take it, fine. Um, and so after that initial payment, it was just like waiting for my surgery day to come. I did stay close by to him in his um, clinic. I was not trying to travel and drive because if you know DR and the traffic in the capital, no. <laughs> you don't want to be sitting, especially I didn't know how I was going to be like feeling. I didn't know if I was really going to be a wreck. I didn't know if I was going to be able to really sit in the car for that long. So I definitely got a house that was close by to his clinic. It was on Mustafa, I think, Calle Mustafa. It was generally close to his clinic and office. So that's the reason why I stayed there. It was a beautiful apartment. I will definitely post the videos of when I arrived and everything. I will definitely try to um, put the Airbnb link down below. I think I spent about $1,500, but I was also there for oh, about a little bit more than three, I think about three weeks. Um, I had the apartment for it. It was beautiful. I had literally my own floor there in the in the apartment building so like when you came up through the elevator there wasn't other any other doors it was just my door um and i was very comfortable it had great ac in every single room it was very spacious very large perfect literally for what i needed it for i paid for a nurse which i paid about like a hundred dollars a day on that nurse i loved her mihalina um definitely when i go back I'm not telling on myself or anything, but she will be my nurse again. Um, I, she helped me in tremendously. 
I definitely, definitely don't regret that at all. Um, the reason why I didn't do the recovery house and everything is because, listen, I am not a nice person when I'm in pain. I do not want to be ringing the bell for you and I'm waiting on you. And for some God-given reason, you're not coming to help me and what I want. So that's why I'm like, no. And then I just, I read a lot of things about the recovery homes, the food and everything else. And I just, I'm like, uh-uh. Sorry, like if I'm in pain, especially when I'm not at my best, I don't want to have to worry about other things like that. I want to be comfortable. I want to know that I'm going to be fine and I'll have the help that I need and everything. And I was fine. Um, Definitely, definitely recommend doing that if you're somebody like me. Or, I mean, I, I, I also didn't really worry also because I have friends there. But even if you don't have friends there, I feel like it should be fine if it's just you and the nurse there in the house. Like... You're not going to want to party. I know that a lot of my friends told me like, yeah, you know, like right after the BBL, they're out and they're drinking and hookah and I, God bless them, but not after what I needed. So no. Also, um, I didn't want to leave this out because I'm not sure if I, if I told you exactly what was my quote or I just told you the price. The quote, the, the initial quote was, uh, for tummy tuck, lipo on my flanks and my back. And, um, that was really, and the BBL and that was really it. Um, and so I added on the hips and everything else, but that was the general $6,000 quote was for the tummy tuck, the lipo and the flanks. Cause they don't do lipo on your stomach when you have a BBL. They just do the lipo here on your sides and the lipo in the back, um, and the BBL which is the transfer from the fat that they light bulb from you to your, um, to your butt. The booty, the booty. Well, surgery day, I had my friend, um, take me. I actually had run in a car out there. I'll also leave that down below for the number for WhatsApp for the car rental place that I usually use. I'll leave that below. And, um, I my friend took me to drop me off there and I went at five o'clock in the morning I believe I or six o'clock in the morning I was there and I did end up waiting all day long um I thought that I was going to be first, but I was not. I thought I was going to be second, but I was not. I was thought I was going to be third, but I was not. Um, I spoke to the the nurse a few times. She's like, oh, um, you're going to be next. But I think they were mixing me up with this other girl because she was like, you know, she looked kind of like me and her name was Brianna. So it was like, oh. Okay, guys. I was finally put into my room. <sighs> I've been waiting a long time. But this is my room, I guess, for the night. And yeah, I guess I'm going into surgery soon. It's like almost 3 o'clock. I've been waiting all day. I've been here since 30. I will keep you guys updated on what's next. Um, But I ended up going into surgery, I think, about close to 5 p.m. Um, finally, and what I remember, really, like, I wasn't really that anxious. I already was, like, really genuine, genuinely excited and just ready to get my surgery. I wasn't scared. I knew that I was in good hands. Um, of course, you know, you have little jitters here and there, but the weight didn't bother me. If anything, it annoyed me because I, I don't, I'm not a patient person. So, but it, it really wasn't bad at all, I would say. Finally, when I did get a room, they did the IV and stuff. Um, it wasn't bad or anything. Um, they did give me the blue pill. Uh, I can't say that it like relaxed me because I really wasn't crazy, like, you know, anxious and anything. But what I will say is that um, I laid down and I was watching like a video or a movies or whatever. And that is the last memory that I have. Um, I don't remember 
Like I had sent out a group chat to my <laughs> my friends and my family, like you know, like um, basically saying like, you know, I love y'all. I'm about to go into surgery and everything. And I don't remember that. I don't ever remember getting wheeled into surgery. I don't remember anything about waking up. Um, and even that is really foggy for me. I know that I was in pain when I woke up, um, not from any of my, like, you know, incisions or anything. It was my right leg under like that butt cheek. It was in so much pain. I can't even explain it to you. I was crying, um, so much. I did have an overnight nurse, which did come with my quote. Um, and her name was Canela. I love her. She's really good. She really didn't have much to do for me because I woke up. Once I woke up from surgery, it was like 11 something at night. Um, I'm not sure. I might have been out of surgery already like for a while. I really don't remember. It's really a fog for me. But I just remember like once I was really to it, I was just on the phone with my dad crying <laughs> about the pain in my leg. Like crying. I spoke to my mom. Um... And that was it. They gave me something and I went to sleep. Um, I woke up in the morning. I was fine. Um, can't say I was in any severe, like, severe pain or anything. I was okay. I had my breakfast. They, uh, My doctor came. He gave me a rose. So sweet. Um, just to see how I was doing. And then I was discharged. Um, thank God I had my friends there. My friends were there waiting for me and stuff. They did take me home. I felt like I felt pretty good right after surgery because of the anesthesia, the anesthesia. I feel like I was like, like when I got home from the hospital, I was like moving around. I was like, not crazy, but like I was doing a few things. And then like the next day it was like, yeah, girl, you just had surgery. Sit down. Because I was like, dang. It's just, it's not pain. It's really just soreness, you know? It's like soreness and everything else is, is kind of rough. It's not too bad, though. I can't say, like, I was in so much pain. Um, But it was just soreness, and I got through it pretty well. We will be posting another video, so you guys stay tuned, of my body reveal and the stages of how my body healing went. Um, but it definitely was good for me to have the house to myself. It definitely was good for me to have my nurse. Um, I had her for 10 days, but I only really needed her for about seven days. After about seven, full well, five to seven days, I say in that time range, I was able to like get up on myself and do things for myself and put my faha on. I did learn very quickly how to put my faha on by myself because I do live alone and I mean, I have my child, but obviously she can't help me put it on. So I needed to be really independent. And that's why I pushed myself to heal a little bit faster and just learn how to take care of myself. So I was able to do so when I got home. Um, to speak about massages. Now, massages, they I think I got like five free from the doctor, which were good. I loved her as well. And the drainage. Um, but I did have my own masseuse come too. We started before I started my massages that I started with my doctor. She started, I think, day two post-op. Um, I started getting massages and drainage, which I recommend. I was also getting two massages a day, which I recommend. I probably left with over 25 to 30 massages from the Dominican Republic because it is so good for your body. Yes, it is painful. Yes, it hurts because it hurts. Okay. It hurts. I'm not, I never lie. I never lie. It hurts. But uh-uh, you need them. It just gets all of that junk out of your body. It gets your body feeling better after the fact. You're slimmer after the fact. You're just, it just makes your body feel so much better. If you let that, flu that fluid build up in you, you are going to be in pain. You're going to be uncomfortable. Um, so I would definitely say that I will leave the, um, the lady I use, she will come to your house. She's really good. Um, and do it. I did need to buy a pillow cause I didn't like, I couldn't fit one to really be honest in my luggage. Um, I did bring a lot of stuff. So stay tuned for that video as well as what did I bring and what will you need? Especially if you're staying in a home by yourself and not a recovery home. So I did buy a pillow from my doctor. I think it was about 50 or $60. Um, and that was fine. No worries. Also, like food and stuff. It's not really expensive there, but you know, like being there for so long, you have to go grocery shopping and stuff. 
And so I did that. Um, I was street shopping. I paid probably altogether maybe about $600, $500. Um, but I, like I said, I was there for a long time. So I was buying a lot of water, a lot of juice, a lot of things, food and everything, bread and everything. Like I was going shopping, like, you know, um, because I, I really needed to go. I needed to buy those things. And, um, you know, I had to also feed my nurse. Like, you know, I had to have groceries so definitely pay for that i think my car paid about five hundred dollars or um or six hundred dollars as well second garment from my doctor which i do love his garments he has maria e fajas there um it's i know i keep kind of sounding repetitive but i have made so much content for you guys so it's definitely coming soon but my Fajas video will be out. Just a, a, a brief like go over of what I've learned in my Faja stages now with me being in a size um, five extra small. Um, and so it is something that's very vital to your journey in your with your BBL process. Um, the Fajas, the boards and all of that, I will definitely be discussing in another video. But I definitely did buy one from my doctor with the extenders because I am taller than a, a normal girl so i spent about 180 on that with uh with the purchase of these the extenders for the arms um and so i was i love the faja from from him love the faja from him so before i left the dominican republic including all flights and everything return and going and everything i spent about seventeen thousand dollars um for everything before i even left yes um just about seventeen thousand um and after i came home the money never stops <laughs> you are going to continue to spend money for aftercare you will not get over it if you think that you're going to like oh i'm just gonna get surgery and i'm gonna come home and I, i'm not gonna need anything and you will need please do not play yourself gina <laughs> like i'm not even trying to be funny you are going to need do not play yourself and don't go the go don't go about it the cheap way because you just do not do not do not want to need something and can't have it especially after recovering you constantly will need new fajas you constantly will need new things you will need massages you will still need drainages you will still need all those things and you need them done properly not from bobo the fool um, that does it out their apartment not saying that you can't find anybody good that does things out of their apartment because you definitely can but don't just go to anybody you need good recommendations good reviews you know the massages and stuff is one thing but that drainage and stuff like that that's very important because that's them putting a needle into you especially if you have tummy tuck or any open wounds you do not want any infections i'm telling you because they will not touch you here in the united states you will have to go back to dominican republic to be cared for so definitely do not try to do the cheap way out but yes gina's i think that i covered everything if i left anything out or if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i answer all my questions and comments i will never leave you hanging um but i think i've covered everything on my doctor how my visit how everything was i did say i love my results i did feel like i loved my results from day one i did have a couple of you know um you know it's it's a trying process um it's very emotional and i will be discussing how my body transformed from day one till now which i am about to make five months now and i will definitely be doing a body reveal and everything else in my coming videos so thank you guys so much for staying loyal thank you guys for tuning back in don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know if you need anything don't forget to hit the bell just to get the notifications and i'll see you guys next time bye genus